and welcome back to the Do It Yourself YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm going to show you a little bit about how to use push fit plumbing. And in today's video, we're going to be using John Guest Speed Fit Push Fit Fittings. We'll also be using the John Guest PEX Barrier Pipe. There was a time when these push fit fittings uh, and doing plumbing with plastic was viewed as amateur. However, in today's world, even on new build construction sites, this is the stuff that you're going to see being used day to day. At the end of the day, this channel is all about saving you time, money and teaching you a new skill. If you're concerned about these being a viable option and whether they're reliable, they absolutely are. Okay, A lot of these big brands now are given these a 25 year guarantee and for the majority of your projects at home this will be far easier, cheaper and faster than you using copper pipe. And yes, you can mix this pipe with your copper plumbing as well. If this is the type of thing you like to see on a day to day basis, there's loads of this type of thing coming up, so please hit subscribe. Okay, so let me show you a few of the tools and bits that you're going to need. So you'll need to get yourself some barrier pipe or PEX cutters. They're quite cheap. I'll put a link in the description where you can get yourself some. Do not use a hacksaw. I don't recommend it at all. Make sure you use these. They're the proper thing for the job. You might also need a tape measure depending on what project you're doing. And of course you're going to need to get yourself some barrier pipe and the relevant fittings for your project. When you're plumbing with plastic pipe make sure you use the matching brands. The biggest brands in the UK are HEPO2 and JG Speedfit. I like to use the Speedfit stuff. It is, in my opinion, the market leading brand that you can buy. Now, you can get this pipe in 2.4 meter lengths or three meter lengths. It's fairly cheap and it's really easy to work with. Okay, I've cut a few bits off here for an example. There's loads of other accessories you can get in the Speedfit range. Today we're going to be using a variety of fittings. They all work in the same way. So we'll do an example on a 15mm elbow. They come in these little packets. They even have instructions on the back. Really simple to use. What we'll also need is some 15mm pipe inserts. When we're plumbing with plastic pipe, it's very important that we use these. I'll show you why in a second. You might need stop ends and things like that as well. Right, let's make a start. Grab yourself a length of barrier pipe and what we'll need to do is just chop the end off it, even if it's the end that came out of the factory. So when you're cutting your speed fit pipe, if you look at the pipe, there's some cut marks on there. Now, dependent on your project, it doesn't always work out that you can cut on those marks, but they are helpful and I'll show you why in a second. So grab your pipe and just cut on one of those marks with your cutters. Like that, give them a squeeze, chop the end off. What you want to do next is grab one of the Speedfit inserts. Now there's a few reasons we use these inserts. One of the reasons, when this pipe is inserted into a fitting, there's some O-rings inside these fittings. And if we were to put this in without an insert, the sharp edge of the pipe can actually damage that O-ring inside. So grab your pipe, pop an insert in, and that'll stop that from happening. Also what it does, it stops the end of the pipe from being crushed. It gives it a little bit more rigidity. So the main reason I show you to cut onto this mark here, when you're a beginner and you, you don't quite have the feel for it, it'll be useful because when we insert this pipe into our fitting, this mark will just about disappear. Okay, so insert the pipe into our fitting, like so, and you can see there that that mark's just disappeared. Once our pipe is inserted in our fitting, what we'll do is just do this collar up nice and tight and you'll see that this piece here is now solid and we can't separate or pull the pipe away at all. However if we do need to remove this all we need to do is loosen this, push this collar in and pull the pipe out and it will come out nicely. If at any time you do believe that you might have damaged one of these O-rings inside, replace the fitting. Now there's a few things that can happen that might stump you. These collars here can actually pull out, okay? Don't be alarmed, just pop it back in. It won't jeopardize 
the fitting in any way. So one question I get asked a lot is can I use push fit fittings on copper pipe? Let's find out. Yes, simple as that. That is completely solid on that pipe. It's got these little lugs inside that actually grab on there and these stop ends are especially good even for copper pipe. If we want to get this off the copper pipe, just pull that little lug in, give it a pull. A little scenario, this copper feed here coming out of your wall at home, let's put a plastic fitting on the end of that. All we need to do to attach a push fit fitting onto copper is put that fitting on the end. There's a few things to bear in mind though. We don't need an insert for one, but what we do need to do is deburr the end of this copper pipe, make sure it's clean, make sure there's no sharp edges or we can damage the O-ring inside the fitting. What we'll do is just push that on there and do up that collar so it's nice and tight. And that is as simple as that, that's not going anywhere. So you can watch me do a little bit of a loop with some plastic pipe just so you can see how easy this stuff is. One useful tip, when you're using these inserts, what we sometimes do is lay out the exact amount that we need. So I'm now going to put a T-piece on the top of this pipe. So in this case, we're using a T-piece next. We're going to want three inserts, so lay three inserts out. At the end of your job, if there's an insert left, you know that you missed one. So you can see just how easy this stuff is to use. One more thing, I get asked a lot, can I put compression fittings on here? Yeah, let's go for it. Make sure when we're doing this, we put an insert in the pipe as always. Put our nut on and our olive on. Put our compression fitting on. Grab yourself a pair of grips and an adjustable spanner and we'll just do this up. You don't need to overdo it with these compression fittings onto plastic, they bite in really nicely without any PTFE tape needed on the olive whatsoever. Okay, so thanks for watching. Go off and give this a go yourself. You'll find it's really easy to do. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please subscribe because there's loads of this sort of thing coming up. And I'll see you guys in the next one.